So, the matchup that everybody's been waiting for, number one, South Carolina versus number two, UConn, happened earlier today at 12 p.m. on ESPN. When I say in the beginning, the game was what we all expected. But after the second, after halftime, South Carolina, for the most part, had their way with UConn. Um, Aaliyah Boston was dominant. She had a double-double. She had her way in the post. Um, despite, I believe, having three fouls, it didn't stop her from going and rebounding, going and getting the post and scoring the baskets that need to be scored. Um, Camilla Cardoza, she did her thing, blocks, rebounds, assists, screens. She's going to play a major factor for South Carolina off their bench. Um, whether it's um, Cardozo or Ann, uh, Aaliyah Boston in the game at the same time, or Cardozo coming in for Aaliyah Boston to give her a break or because she's in foul trouble. That's going to be a dynamic duo as far as bigs for South Carolina. Um, South Carolina had some foul trouble with uh, Zaya Cook, Bree Bill, Leah Boston, Letitia, Ami here. They all had foul trouble, but they were able to play through it. Um, Destiny Littleton came in, made some key threes off the bench. I said that she would be a factor for them this year if she could find her shooting stroke. Um, I think prior to her making her three, uh, the first three she made, she had been three for 15 so far for the season. But she provided some scoring off the bench. Um, here's the problem for UConn. UConn is so relying solely relying on Paige Bukers for a lot of offense and basically like getting their offense going for scoring and getting people in the right positions to score. Um it just didn't work in her favor. She scored some but she wasn't the dynamic player that everybody loves against South Carolina. She looked regular against South Carolina today. Um AZ Fudd had her career high of 18 points their last game. Today, she didn't really play. Um, granted, I would say AZ Fudd is a great offensive player. Defensively, she's going to have to step it up. Um, Gino really didn't play her today. I'm thinking it's the matchup defensively. That's why AZ didn't really play. But when she was in... I think she played okay. I think uh, Olivia Nelson Adota did pretty well as far as defending her position, going up against Aaliyah Boston and Camilla Cardozo. She did pretty well. Uh, Olivia Nelson Adota is going to dominate defensively. She's not really strong offensively yet to dominate on both sides of the court yet. When she gets there, then she'll be more effective for UConn. Aaliyah Boston, you know she's going to high energy. She's going to be on the floor. She's going to go after it. Um, she's got to figure out how to still be effective and like high energy, but not be in foul trouble. Kristen Williams, she went for 31 points the last game, and I think today she's going to score 13. She's got to find her balance of being a dominant force to them more. Uh, Vina Westbrook, she's got to look for offense more. Uh, Gina ended up being desperate to the point that Mira McLean made her season debut for UConn. Uh, Nika Mule really didn't play the last game, but played today. Um, Dersham um, Caroline Dorsham, she's doing very well off of uh, UConn's bench. Um, she's a transfer from Ohio State. So, 
there's some things that Yukon has to fix. Um, I said this was my matchup for the championship game. I would say as of right now, South Carolina is a, a better team than Yukon. They play again January 27th. I like to see how that matchup goes to really determine who I can say really is the team to be as far as the championship. But good win for South Carolina.